And I remember I had suggested to him, like, like I'm going to tell on you or something like that. And uh, <clears throat> he was like, if you say anything, uh, and I'll fucking, I'll kill you. I'll kill your mom. I'll kill grandma. I'll kill everybody inside here. Like, you better not say shit to anybody. And my dad would pick me up bi-weekly. Um, that was the custody situation. My mom had me most of the time, and my dad would pick me up bi-weekly, and he lived in the Bronx. So uh, I remember at that point, I'm like, I don't care if he kills anybody. Like, he can kill me. He can kill my grandparents. Like, I don't care. Like, you're not getting away. I'm going to tell somebody. And my dad, <clears throat> he, picked, he picked me up, and I think from what they told me, I, I told my dad... You know, like, what was happening. And my dad called my mom and told her. And then I remember uh, my dad bringing me back to our house in Queens. And my mom, she sat down with me and she's like, I want you, we're going to get everybody in the living room. And I want you to tell grandma, I want you to tell grandpa, I want you to tell everybody what happened. We're going to bring everybody here, him. Lester, we're gonna bring his mom, and we're gonna sit down. We're gonna. I want you to tell me what happened. And I just remember I was oh, so afraid. I was like crying. I was like, I don't want to get in trouble. And she was like, You're not gonna get in trouble. Just say what happened. <laughs> so uh, we all sat down. And he's right in front of me. And I, I just remember him looking at me. It's just like one of those looks like, you better not tell on me. Like, everybody's here. Like, you better not tell on me. And I was like, I don't care. Like, if you are going to kill anybody, you might as well do it now. Kill me, kill everybody. Because I'm telling. <clears throat> and I told. And I remember my mom. I, everybody knew I was telling the truth. I could tell. And by his reaction, by my reaction, everybody knew I was telling the truth. And then there was just like a whole bunch of commotion. It was probably about 10, 10 of us, in at least 10 of us inside there between my cousins, my... She, I didn't have all the cousins there, but the, most of the adults were in there. And <clears throat> then everybody just started jumping up. People were running all around. I think my mom said she was going to get her gun. She was going to shoot him. And... His mom grabbed him, and they they fled. They ran out the house, and my mom took me straight to the precinct to file a police report. And I remember being inside a room, <clears throat> kind of like an interrogation room. It was just like a, a desk and this officer, and he had a doll with him. And he's like, uh, you point to places or... Cause I, I didn't want to speak and he's like, oh, did anybody ever touch you here? And you point to a place on the doll. And I just say, yeah, or just nod my head and he point to other places. And he would like ask me, you know, the, and the dolls had holes and different things like that. You know, did anything do this or do that? <clears throat> I'd say, yeah, and this. 